Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. The IELTS sample letters in this lesson are both request letters, one of the seven most common letter types in the general writing exam. In the lesson, I'm going to show you step by step how to plan and write a letter of request. And here's what the lesson includes. The question structure, a letter structure, formal or informal, how to tell the difference, the greeting and sign off, how to generate ideas and I also include two sample letters. First, the structure of the question. All questions for IELTS letters have the same structure. They're made up of three parts. Part one is the topic, part two the person you must write to and part three what you should write about, listed as three bullet points. Here's a sample question for a letter of request with the three parts illustrated. You want to learn the language. There's a teacher near to where you live. Write a letter to the teacher. In the letter, say how you came to know about him or her. Explain why you want to learn and ask what they can offer. The first sentence gives the topic of the question, which is that you want to learn a language. The second sentence tells you who you should write to. In this case, it's the teacher. And the three bullet points tell you what you should write about. You should say how you came to know about him or her, explain to them why you want to learn, and ask them what help they can offer. Understanding the different parts of the question will help you to quickly analyse and plan your answer. To help you plan, use the letter structure I'm about to show you. For a full lesson on planning, study my lesson on how to plan IELTS letters. I put a link to it in the notes below this video. The layout of your letter should follow the structure of the question and consist of four paragraphs with a greeting at the beginning and a sign off at the end. Use this easy to remember six part structure. Start with the greeting which will be dear whoever you're writing to. In paragraph 1, state the purpose of the letter, that is, your reason for writing. In paragraph 2, write about the first bullet point. In paragraph 3, write about the second bullet point. And in paragraph 4, write about the third bullet point. And finally, sign off your letter. All you need to do to create your plan is to add the details from the question, like this. The person we're writing to is the teacher, so that's who we'll address in our greeting. Paragraph 1 is the reason or purpose for writing, which is to inquire about lessons. Paragraph 2 will be about the first bullet point, which is to say how you came to know about the teacher. Paragraph 3 will be about the second bullet point, where we'll explain why we want to learn. And paragraph 4 will be about the third bullet point where we'll ask what help they can offer. And finally, we'll sign off the letter. IELTS letters must be written in the appropriate tone and style. There are two options, formal to someone you don't know or don't know well, and informal to a friend. It's essential that you're able to identify what type of letter you're required to write. Follow this rule. If a question includes the word friend, use informal language. If it does not include the word friend, use formal language. For this question, we'll write a formal letter. There are two ways you can begin a formal letter. Use dear sir or madam if you don't know the name of the person you're writing to. And use dear plus their surname if you do know their name. For example, dear Mr Smith or dear Mrs Jones. It's quite possible that you would know the name of the teacher in a real situation, so make one up if you want to use a surname. If you were writing an informal request letter to a friend, you would use their first name, for example, Dear Ben. The greeting you use will determine how you sign off the letter. For a formal letter, there are two main options for signing off. The correct one would depend on who you're addressing. Use yours sincerely if you started the letter with dear and the surname, for example, dear Mrs Jones, 
or use yours faithfully if you start the letter with dear sir or madam. You could also use kind regards. This is formal but friendly and is appropriate for many situations. It's particularly useful if you struggle to remember how to spell sincerely and faithfully. Always sign off a formal letter with your full name. For example, yours sincerely, Jackie Spear. For an informal letter to a friend, use one of these phrases followed by your first name. All the best. See you soon. Keep in touch. For example, keep in touch, Jackie. For our sample letter, we'll use this greeting and sign off. Dear Miss Garcia, Kind regards, Jackie Spear. We're now ready to think up some ideas to write about. We have the guidelines of the three bullet points to help us, so this won't be difficult. With only 150 words to write, you won't need many ideas. Just make sure that you write about each bullet point and develop each idea fully. You don't have to have the best ideas you can possibly think of. Go with your first thoughts and don't waste time trying to think of better ideas. Just make sure that they're directly related to the bullet points. Note them beside each bullet point on the exam paper like this. For say how you came to know about him or her, I've noted down, saw article and advert in local paper. For explain why you want to learn, I've put down volunteering in an orphanage in Peru, conversation. And for ask what help they can offer, I've jotted down time, frequency and price. So those are my ideas. That's our planning complete. Once you've had some practice, you'll be able to do this in just a few minutes. Taking time to plan makes writing IELTS letters far quicker and easier than if you don't do this step. You'll also be able to write a better letter and get higher marks. We're now ready to start writing our letter. Here's our plan again, with all our notes added in. Pause the video if you want to spend a few minutes studying it. We've already decided on the greeting, so we'll start by writing paragraph 1. In the first paragraph, you must state the reason for writing the letter, that is, its purpose, which is to ask about language lessons. Many students make the mistake of missing this purpose sentence out, but it's very important. Including it will gain you marks. It only requires one sentence. For example, I am writing to inquire about taking Spanish lessons with you. Here's a top vocabulary tip. Do not use contractions in formal letters. They are informal language. So do not write, I'm writing to inquire. In the second paragraph, you write about bullet point one, which is to say how you came to know about the teacher. My idea for this is that I saw an article and an advert in the local paper. Remember to keep the language formal for this question. Aim for around 50 words for paragraphs two, three and four. You could write something like this for this paragraph. I read the article about you and saw your advert in this week's local paper and I believe that you are just the person that I am looking for. I am particularly keen to learn from a native speaker like yourself, so I do hope that you have space in your timetable to fit me in for some lessons. The third paragraph should cover the second bullet point, which is to explain why you want to learn. My idea for this is that I want to volunteer in an orphanage in Peru and be able to engage in conversation with the children. You could write something like this. My reason for wanting to learn your language is because I will be travelling to Peru for six months next year to volunteer in an orphanage. I really want to be able to talk to the children and understand them, so Spanish conversation is my priority. Paragraph 4 addresses the third bullet point, which is to ask what help they can offer. My idea is to ask about time, frequency and price of lessons. You could write something like this. I would be grateful if you could let me know what availability you have for lessons. 
Twice a week would be ideal if that is possible. I work in the evening so daytime would be fine. Please could you also tell me what you charge for tuition and how long each lesson would last. Now we just need to add the sign off we decided on earlier and our letter is complete. Here's our finished letter of request. Pause the video and read through it. Note how all the elements come together and the ideas flow from one to the next. This is what you're aiming for in your letter. To get some practice writing IELTS letters of request, write a letter for this question. You are going to visit the town where your friend went to university. Write a letter to your friend. In your letter, explain why you will be visiting the town, give details of where you will be staying and ask your friend to recommend some evening entertainment. This letter is to a friend, so must be written in an informal tone and style. Use the planning structure I've shown you and plan before you start writing. Here's a sample letter. Can you identify the language and grammar structures I've used to give it an informal tone? Note that it contains contractions. You'll find lessons on other common IELTS letter topics on the website and my YouTube channel. I've put a link to the IELTS writing menu page where you'll find all the lessons in the notes below this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another lesson soon. Goodbye for now.